the first question is actually more of a stoichiometry question than a organic chemistry, but anyway, let's take a look at it. Octane can undergo incomplete combustion according to the following equation. When does incomplete combustion occur? When we have a shortage of oxygen. Complete combustion is when there's plenty of oxygen. So shortage of oxygen. Calculate the mass of carbon produced if 4,2 moles of octane is combusted in this way. So octane is C8H18 is to carbon as 2 is to, oopsie, sorry, not there, as 2 is to 6. So 4,2 is to 12,6 divided by 2 times by 3. Mass is equal to number of moles times molar mass of carbon, 12,6 times by 12, and I land up with 151,2 grams. Um, write a balanced equation for the complete combustion of octane. So it's C8H18 plus oxygen is going to give me only carbon dioxide and water as products. And then I try and balance the carbons, so it's going to be 8, then I do the hydrogens, it's going to be 9, and then I count out my oxygens. That's 16 plus 9 is 25, which means that it is 12 and a half of the oxygen. I obviously can't have a half, so I now need to double everything. 2, 25, 16, 18, and it's balanced. Alcohols are very versatile compounds with a variety of uses, one being in the preparation of other organic compounds. The following flow diagram shows how propantool can be used as a reactant to produce three different compounds, compound X, compound Y, and compound Z. Draw the structural formula of propantool. So because it's prop, we're going to land up with three carbons and so one two three the alcohol group on there oh it's propan 2 all so we need to put the alcohol group on the second carbon and we fill up the rest with hydrogens will propan 2 all or propan 1 all have a greater boiling point explain your answer by referring to intermolecular forces. Well, let's first think about who has the strongest intermolecular forces. Propan 2 all over here is more of a cluster. It looks more circular than if this alcohol group were out on the end over there. So in other words, propan 1 all has got more surface area. Therefore, more points for electrostatic attraction than propan 2 ol. Therefore, 1 ol has a higher boiling point. Compound Z is propene. Name the type of reaction represented by E. Propene means I'm going to land up with a double bond, which means it must be an elimination reaction. So start with elimination. We can get more specific, though. We are going to be getting rid of the OH group and one hydrogen. So it is actually a dehydration because we are going to lose a water. So that's a more specific answer. Write down the condensed structural formula for compound, not compound. Um, Z and propene is going to be, for condensed, is going to be CH3, CH, CH2. You can draw the whole thing out at first if you want to. And it's going to have a double bond over there. So it's going to be CH3, CH, CH2. Compound Z is 2-bromopropane. A lie. Compound X is 2-bromopropane. 
which is prepared by a reaction of sulfuric acid and sodium bromide. Write down the molecular formula for compound X. So now we're looking for just a molecular formula. It's going to be C3. And normally it would be H8 if it was an alkane, but one of those hydrogens has actually turned into a bromine, not turned into being substituted into a bromine. Propan, 1-ol, and ethanoic acid are reacted together in a heat bath in the presence of sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid acts as a catalyst in the reaction. Using structural formulae show the balanced chemical reaction between ethanoic acid and propan 1-ol. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out my propan 1-ol. And I am then also going to draw ethanoic acid. Prop 3, 1-ol on the first alcohol. Ethanoic acid, there is the... Oopsie, sorry. We need to get rid of that. I got a bit enthusiastic. That is your ethanoic acid over there with two carbons in it. You then have to say, in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid, I am going to create propyl ethanoate. And water, and when I'm drawing the structural formula of water, it looks like that. I need to add all of the hydrogens onto the propyl ethanoate. Name the organic product of this reaction. I always use the alcohol first to create the propyl and the acid to get the ethanoate. Using structural formulae, draw 2,3-dimethylbutane. But, 1, 2, 3, 4. Dimethyl, there is a methyl group on number 2. And there is a methyl group on number 3. I then need to be counting out my extra hydrogens. And I'll need a hydrogen here. Name the organic molecule represented alongside. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbons in my longest carbon chain. There's a double bond on carbon number 1 and on carbon number 3. So it's going to be pent, sorry, pent 1,3-diene. The diene is the two double bonds in there. Consider the following organic compounds and answer the questions that follow. We've got an ester, not an ester, sorry, carboxylic acid, that's an alkene. Over here, we could have an ester or a carboxylic acid. Here we've got an alkane, here we've got an alcohol, and there we've got an alkene. Identify the homologous series of the following molecules. A is going to be a carboxylic acid. B is the alkenes. And D is an alkane. C is an alcohol. If C is an alcohol, give its name. Oh my gosh, it's got three oxygens in it. Let's see what's it. They've just told me it's an alcohol, so I've got to somehow make that an alcohol. With three carbons, and I've got three oxygens, so it must be three OH groups hanging off. Doesn't necessarily tell me where those OH groups are, but it is propan. Triol. It may be propan 123 trial, propan 111 trial. Any of those would have been acceptable answers. Write a balanced chemical equation for the complete combustion reaction for compound D in oxygen. So again, we're looking at the combustion reactions. It's butane, so it's C4H10 plus oxygen gives me carbon dioxide and water. I need 4 for the carbon, I need 5 over there, I've got 8, plus 5 is 13, so that turns out to be 6.5 oxygens, that's not what I want, I need to double everything, so that becomes 13, 8 and 10.
Briefly give the reasons for the following. Ethanol has a higher boiling point than ethane. So the OH group is polar. And there is hydrogen bond forces in the little OH group only. These are stronger than London forces in ethane. Then for octane, have a higher boiling point than butane. Octane has a longer carbon chain. Therefore, more electrons in the electron cloud to have electrostatic attraction. Therefore, greater London forces. They're both London forces, but the London forces are stronger in the longer molecule than in the shorter molecule. C4H10 is a gas that is stored in liquid form in camp cookers or by many campers. It has two isomers with similar boiling points. Name the homologous series to which butane is a member. It is alkane. What is meant by the term isomer? Same molecular formula. Different structural formula. And then draw the structures of an isomer. The first one is the obvious lin lin <laughs> linear molecule that's going to look like that. And the second one is going to be methyl propane. So it's a propane and a methyl propane plus butane. Those are the two different isomers of C4H10. Obviously this one just needs all its hydrogens onto it.